Okay, so Ben Simmons to the Houston Rockets has risen again in the news, and it's very interesting to see because the two names floating around in trade talks right now are Ben Simmons and John Wall in the two-team trade. So uh, we're going to be breaking down how we would get Ben Simmons and his fit on the Houston Rockets. So what's up? My name is JDC. If you like the video, drop it down below, press the sub button. We do NBA content here, mostly Houston Rockets. We got a pretty juicy video today. Probably the most juiciest video of the offseason, to be honest with you, because there's some actual news today. So we're going to be breaking down this Ben Simmons news and kind of be talking about what the Rockets would look like after this trade. So if you like what you see, drop the link down below, press the sub button. It'd really appreciate it. Let's get into the video. So Ben Simmons, I think everyone knows who Ben Simmons is by now because he's been in a lot of trade talks and a lot of news recently. You know, obviously hasn't been reporting to the 76ers organization, probably will not attend the training camp for the 76ers hasn't been you know returning any of Joel Embiid's calls so his time in in the 76ers is definitely up I mean no it was a really good run but it's over for him so I think the 76ers and the Houston Rockets trading for each other I think it could be very interesting depending on who's in the deal I think in any trade John Wall has to be in the deal because they're mo they're both making similar amounts of money but you know obviously John Wall's a little bit overpaid so uh, Ben Simmons for John Wall are the two main focuses in the deal. Now we'd probably add in people like Daniel House who doesn't really have a role on the team anymore because of all of our young movement on the team so we probably add in Daniel House who's 28. Can definitely help the Sixers win. I, I don't even think I'll, I'll win but I think you no know, House would be very, very great on the 76ers. Would definitely help them out off the bench 3 and D type of player right there. Could definitely get hot from 3 at any time. So uh, we got D John Wall, Daniel House right there. Now I'm guessing we definitely would have to add in 2 picks. Which I don't like the idea of. Because adding in 2 picks into our rebuilding process. It kind of just diminishes that process away. Now it is only 2 picks. Which you know makes sense. But they're 2 first round picks that could be very valuable in the future. So there's that. But if we're giving up 2 picks... John Wall and Daniel House for Ben Simmons. I'm doing it because he's 25 years old, 6'11", 240 pounds. Had a pretty okay season. Was definitely a down year from the previous seasons, but he's an all-star caliber player. And him on the Rockets, it would be very interesting to see. He would be probably running the 4 or the 3 at best. I mean, the starting lineup would probably be Jay Sean, well, not Jay Sean Tate. Uh, Kevin Porter Jr. at the point, Jalen Green at the 2. Probably either Jay Sean Tate or Ben Simmons at the 3 because... Tate and Ben Simmons, I don't think they're going to be working together well on the same lineup. It just wouldn't work out. The floor spacing would be so out of whack. So if we do get Ben Simmons, I'm definitely having him at the three and then Christian Wood at the four. Depending on what happens, maybe Daniel Tice at the five. I still got Daniel Tice at the five because he has more experience than Shane Goon. You guys can, you know, debate that in the comments. But that's my starting five right there. KPJ, Jalen Green, Simmons, Wood, and then Tice. That's a very great lineup. And for one, that definitely improves our odds of making the playoffs. Because before, you know, Jay Sean Tate, as good as he is, he's a starting caliber role player. And compared to Ben Simmons, it's, there's not, it's not even close. So Ben Simmons, he's an all-star caliber player. He has pa his passing ability, absolutely underrated, man. So if we're being real with you, Ben Simmons takes the Rockets to another level. Not, I wouldn't say like not a huge gap in terms of what the Rockets were before, but he definitely takes them to another level. Maybe the playing tournament is our ceiling now. I had us projected to go, you know, pretty high up in the playoffs because, well, not even like high up. I mean, I had it projected to go into the playoffs because I think our roster is definitely good. It just depends on how each player plays, like I said in previous videos. But I think Ben Simmons definitely assures us at least maybe a play in, maybe borderline play in spot. And for all we know, we actually could be very bad. So, uh, Ben Simmons. He takes us to a next level. I'm hoping that we do make the play-in tournament. I think that's our ceiling. So, uh, with getting Ben Simmons for John Wall, Daniel House, and two picks, I would do that. Now, depending on what the picks are, I think one of them had to be what well, has to be a Brooklyn Nets pick because they're just not going to be any value to us anymore. Because you know, Kevin, yeah, Kevin Durant resigned. James Harden's probably going to resign. Kyrie Irving, they're all going to resign, which makes sense because they, you know, they love Brooklyn. So it makes sense. And the second pick. I'm not really too sure what we'd give up for the second pick. We do have a lot of picks in the next few drafts. Now I'm seeing that we do have the Milwaukee pick next year in 2023, I want to say. So we could definitely give them that and then the Brooklyn's first and then, you know, House and Wall for Ben Simmons. So uh, I really like that deal right there. If we're getting a starting caliber point guard right there, very nice. And it would free up some, you know, minutes for the guys off the bench. So off the bench, Eric Gordon, 
Alprin Shangun. Assuming that he doesn't go to the G League. Uh, we still got, what's his face? DJ Augustine who's on the team, which I still don't know why. We got Dante Exum. We got Christopher Guru, but we got all these guys. It's going to be very great because that just frees up a lot of minutes because John Wall, obviously a very, you know, ball, he very heavy ball handler player. So, uh, you know, getting rid of his minutes, we give them to other minutes. You know, Daniel House wasn't getting any minutes last season. So getting rid of those two right there. Now, I'm, I'm just going to assume that Ben Simmons takes a lot more minutes like he did like in the previous seasons like you know last season did average 32 minutes per game so uh, i'm just assuming that he you know plays a lot of minutes which makes sense so you know gives a little bit more minutes to the guys off the bench but not by a ton so uh ben simmons if the rockets can get ben simmons in any way shape or form for john wall house and two first round picks i'm definitely doing it Raphael stone i hope that he knows that he should do that and Honestly, I'm just hoping that the Rockets at least make a move here because they have a golden opportunity to get an all-star caliber player right here. And I don't really want them to ruin it because we've missed up on a lot of chances. You know, obviously with the James Harden trade, we could have gotten a lot better than what we got before. So uh, I really don't want to mess this up for the Rockets. If we don't, you know, get Ben Simmons and, you know, we fumble the bag, but it's fine overall because we still got a young team. So uh, hopefully the Rockets can land Ben Simmons and hopefully he's a Houston Rocket by the end of the 2022 regular season or you know before training camp so that's the new video my name is jdc and i'm out peace